Jordan's Crown Prince Hamza bin Hussein on his wedding day in 2004. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, we are seeing what is happening right now with Prince Hamza. He's trying to, I mean, this is what they are saying, that he was trying to overthrow the, the King Abdullah government and establish his rule. That's what they are saying, that there was supposed to be a coup. Uh, even though right now we know that uh, King Abdullah, he kind of like, he, he forgave his brother, half-brother, uh, Prince uh, Hamza saying that this is a family matter and then uh, he said that I will protect him, he is under my protection, things like that. Um, this is something not new, dear brothers and sisters, we are seeing these kind of things happening all the time in the Muslim land. Um, but this time, this incident is very, very important for us to understand because as we are clo going closer and closer to the end of time, uh, these things will play a significant role. Anything that happens right now will have direct impact, in other words, uh, in the coming of the Mahdi, the Jal, Yajujan, Majud, the end of time that we see. Why? Simply because these things are all related. Now, I will be telling you one thing. This uh, Hashemite family, okay? This Hashemite family, Rasulullah is actually part of the uh, uh, Hashimi family. This family uh, was part of uh, a subdivision of Quraysh, the tribe Quraysh. Uh, Hashemi came uh, from Quraysh and Rasulullah was from there and the Hashemite family is actually the descendants of uh, of this family uh, is uh, Hassan ibn Ali uh, we have Fatima and Ali ibn Abi Talib himself so this uh, story it, it goes back all the way to the time of Rasulullah so this is why it is so important and we know that the Mahdi he will be coming from the family of Rasulullah because he said Mahdi Yuminni that Mahdi is from me Few people will argue, dear brothers and sisters, that, well, we want to have the Mahdi. We want to have uh, him right now. I mean, so many people are, you know, waiting for the Mahdi to come. Um, but there are going to be some obstacles. There are going to be some clear signs. Number one would be this kind of uh, incident taking place. The Muslims will be divided. Now, the hadith that uh, Rasulullah SAW he talks about, Tafarraqatil Yahudu al wa sab'ina firqata وَتَفْتَرِكُ أُمَّتِ عَلَى سَلَاثِينَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةً Rasulullah SAW he made it very clear the Jew they split in 71 sects my nation will split in 73 sects and this is a Hassan hadith Ibn Majah and Abu Huraira narrated this hadith why I'm saying that is because if we want to have the Mahdi amongst us if we want to see the signs of the Mahdi the end of time we have to also look for this kind of hadith where Rasulullah SAW he talks about the division uh, in the Muslim Ummah the division in the sects uh, between uh, among the Muslim uh, communities why? Because the Mahdi, his main role, one of the main roles of the Mahdi will be to unite the Ummah. So if the Ummah is united, how, why he would come? <laughs> Subhanallah. I mean, if you want the Mahdi to be here, the first thing that you have to understand is that the Ummah has to be divided. The Ummah has to be divided in every way, shape or form. Even with a little bit of things like drinking water or how to ride a bicycle. Should a woman be allowed to drive? Even tiny little bit of things, the whole ummah will be divided. And this is uh, going to happen at a grand level. This is not happening between Shia, uh, Shia, Shia and Sunni or, you know, Qadiani uh, or, you know, Ismaili. This is not the division uh, sects we are talking here about. This division, these sects uh, that will take place before the end of time are uh, some, is something that everybody will take notice. And that's when the Mahdi will come because that's when we need him. The other problem, uh, because we want the Mahdi to be here, the other thing that uh, we will go through, and this is something, dear ones, it's very, very unfortunate, but the Prophet Sassami said, uh, He said, the Prophet said that the uh, hour will not be established until there will be huge casualties between groups okay between two groups actually whose claim will be the same okay the awahum wahida basically means that these people will be divided they will be fighting and they will be fighting on la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulallah until that happens dear brothers and sisters we are not gonna see the mahdi coming because as i said and i have said it many many times in the past number one sign of the coming of the mahdi is that there will be widespread oppression 
you know, and, and, and the zulm will take place. How it will happen if the Muslims are not fighting, if the Muslims are united and peaceful, even though we all want peace, even though we want stability, even though we do not want any kind of, uh, you know, a commotion, even though we do not want any kind of war and fight, but because the hadith said this will happen, dear my sisters, we have to seek refuge in Allah Azzawajal so that we are protected from the fitan of the end of time. Allah, this is uh, really the essence of learning this hadith, you know, uh, memorizing this hadith. If you are not doing it, then really learning this hadith and reading this uh, the, the, reading the Quran will really not benefit you. So we want the Mahdi to come. So we have to be at the same time prepared for the signs of the Mahdi. Now, before I mention you uh, the three points, the third point uh, as to uh, our you know striving for the Mahdi, I want to mention you a few things. The Hashemite dynasty is not like Hashemite family. Okay, you heard it right. The Hashemite family is the family of Rasulullah that's where it came from the Quraysh as I said sub subdivision of Quraysh however the Hashemite dynasty was formed in 1916 uh, to 1924 I believe uh, and uh, the the, uh, the Amir the Hussein uh, Ibn Ali Amir of Mecca and the king of Hijaj okay these people okay these people uh, from 1916 to 1924, and his son uh, Faisal and Abdullah, who, the, who became the king of Jordan and Iraq, uh, they are the one who are the founder of the Hashemite dynasty. So what is happening right now in, uh, in as you can see right by me uh, in the screen, what is happening there in the family, uh, it is not uh, directly related with uh, the family of Rasulullah and the manhaj that they were based on this this commotion this problem that is happening right now in other words it is about power struggle okay it is not about establishing some kind of like you know Islamic ruling or it is not about uh, out of uh, love for uh, Islam or you know uh, for the desire to establish a Khilafah this is not happening because of those reasons why? Because this is a dynasty. They, the dynasties, if you take a look at the history, the Umayyad dynasty, the Abbasid dynasty, they fought for leadership. They fought for dominance. They fought for anything, everything except for the sake of Islam. Even though they used Islam, for example, the Umayyad dynasty and Abbasid dynasty, both of them, they said, we have the Mahdi with us because we have the black flag with us. Even though they said that, but at the end of the day, it was not for the sake of Islam. What we are seeing right now, it is exactly what is happening. However, as I said in the beginning, that this time happening these things will have a direct impl implication of for the end of time because, dear brothers and sisters, uh, we talk about uh, the coming of the Mahdi, all the signs, the minor signs, you know, most of them are here. So anything that happens will have a direct conse consequence uh, on the coming of the Mahdi, you know, the coming of the Dajjal and things like that. Um, the, the point that I'm trying to make here is that if we want, dear brothers and sisters, to have the Mahdi among us, we have to be prepared for this kind of uh, turmoil, this kind of uh, you know, uh, inequality uh, in countries. Number three thing that we wa have to also understand is that if we want the Mahdi to be here, right? If we want to be the Mahdi to be here, one of the other signs of the Mahdi is that there will be um, widespread oppression as I mentioned right you will see that uh, Muslims are divided you will see Muslims lack in uh, e equality the reason this thing is happening in uh, in uh, in Jordan right now it is because of the COVID-19 COVID-19 as I said in the past that COVID-19 will have a huge implication on the coming of the Mahdi, the, the post-COVID-19 scenario we are talking here about. The COVID-19 has a potential of shaking the status quo. And this is exactly what it is doing right now in Jordan. This person, Prince Hamza, as you can see on the screen, he is not raising his voice. He is not concerned uh, because 
there is a problem in the country that cannot be solved or that has been ignored for a long time. His main concern is because of the COVID-19, our country has gone into debt. 94, I believe 95% of the country's economy is in debt. He is saying that COVID-19, look, what happened with this COVID-19? We are in desperate need of reform. We, we are losing it. And if we do not fight the, the corruption right now, it will be too late. So if we want to, the, want to have the Mahadi with us, dear brothers and sisters, this is how it will happen. You will see these things, and these things are very normal. What you will not see, though, is what is being played out behind the scene in actuality. You will never see that. But Qadr of Allah, when time will come, Allah will expose the, uh, the whole drama in front of the, uh, the Muslims, the Ummah, and you will be able to see it clearly that yes, indeed, it is time for the coming of the Mahdi. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Like this video if you share this video. I'll see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.